perspective here of how steep it is. Another beautiful day in Havasu, working on the Porsche. So I've been tacking the front end in, obviously, shock mounts. I'm done with mock-up on the front end. What I'm working on today is building the rest of the chassis inside the body. So these panels are removable. They'll get glued in. I've got this one sitting in place. But what I'm doing, I've got this tube got this tube that I bent up and I'm trying to put a bar behind the dash here that will help support the steering column. That tube is my simulated steering column and I'm doing it in three pieces and then I'm going to attach my inner door hinge bolts which are these right here with a tab to help support the side of the body also down through this tunnel behind here through this area I'll put a bar in there so that will go through and extend back through the tunnel the side here give me side support and then come out here and tie into the suspension tower which I'm waiting on those still they're at the water jetter getting cut and then there'll be a shock hoop bar come to the back for the coilover shock so let's just get going on this and get them tacked in short t-shirt weather sun's so bright out there probably going to be a hundred degrees today and be our first hundred degree day today today and tomorrow working on the Porsche so what I'm working on right here is the steering shaft I'm trying to get it put in the car is going to use a rag joint here but I'm not liking it because of the angle I got the steering box turned up you can kind of see the angle there so what I want to do is put a U-joint on here. Well, they don't really make a U-joint to go on the Volkswagen box. So I'm going to take this here coupler and I'm going to machine this. I'm going to cut them ears off first and then I'm going to machine it to where that I can put the U-joint on. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I want to machine that to where I can slide that on and weld it. And obviously I want to get it fairly straight. I may shorten some of that just a little just to kind of sexy it up but we're going to get this U-joint on the steering shaft and then uh, see if we can get the column attached and get it to steer. That's one of our big things that I want in the car and I want perfect before it goes off to paint. So I've been working on the pedal assembly. This pedal assembly is basically a dune buggy setup. However this gas pedal, I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to put in here and I came up with this thing on eBay. This is out of a 355 Ferrari and uh, it was $100 on eBay. I did a little bit of trimming on it, cut it down, but uh, I think I'm just going to drill and bolt it to the floor 
and then the linkage I'm going to get creative I'm going to go through the firewall here I'm going to make an actuator so that I can set the ratio how I want it and then I may have a linkage or a cable that will run back to the engine so we're going to get this marked and get it drilled and we will have a Ferrari gas pedal in our Porsche 550 Spider. I don't know who's madder about that, Ferdinand Porsche or uh, Enzo Ferrari. Well, it's time to get on this Porsche yet again. I've uh, obviously finished mocking up all this axle stuff and ACS here in town water jet me some plates. So let's have a look and see what we got. Show you what my plan is here. ACS does such good work. We put all this stuff in a nice little sealed bag. So we got four of those. Six of these. that to go in the front all right if everything went as planned this will go here I believe you have to tune on that hole just a little tiny bit and then that will go through so what I'm going to do these will go down the back side like so. We'll tack these at the corner. Then this will go here, tack it at the corner. And then this pipe is gonna go through, I believe, this hole. I'll have to check that. Maybe it goes in this hole. But uh, regardless, it goes through this hole and uh, I just gotta tune on a little tiny bit and then that'll get welded these will be welded down the side and then these sit on the frame I'll show you right here and these go right here yeah it's the bottom hole so those go right there and that's what connects our suspension so we'll get these welded together get them tuned up get the pipes in them and get the rear suspension links tied into the chassis
well alignment is set so those look really good got to get these side pipe supports in here now figure out where we're going to turn come back and make our shock mounts and then we're going to work on this hinge mount for the bonnet that'll be the last thing getting the shock hoops in and the hinge mount for the bonnet then we need to tie up all the little loose ends and I think it's ready to blow apart and send out for paint. I was going to work on the Porsche all day today. You know, got them side pipes in yesterday, so I was ready to make shock hoops. However, my friend Josh called me. He needs some help. Um, there's a Christian radio station in town, and they've got a basically a transmitter at the top of the mountain up here. And we're going to... Uh, transport a little shed up there so they can put some equipment in so they needed one of my trucks to help with that and uh, I'm gonna go get it done so we'll take you along it's a pretty cool ride going up the top of the mountain well Josh has arrived McKay's here Josh what are you doing what do you got this is a tough shed for uh, advanced ministries uh, for the top of Crossman Peak and why, why have you taken all day to get here well, <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Yeah. Josh has been hung up and being hung up on being hung up. Yeah. Over being hung up. Yep. Everybody. So did you eat breakfast? Did you eat? Did you eat breakfast in Kingman? No, I did not. But you ate lunch in Kingman. Yeah. Did you almost eat dinner in Kingman? Yeah, just about. <laughs> and didn't get down off the mountain working till uh, uh, about four. 4 30 this morning i think i got the you went up the mountain at four uh, last night yeah well i got it back yeah had to get the generator going again oh my gosh you're foolish yeah. hey i hope they pay Sleep you good deprivation starting to set in <laughs> i hope they pay you good josh i really do i hope they pay you because they ain't gonna get nobody to replace you so i guess this is what we got to do it's kind of hard to take trailers like this up there it kind of it's kind of hard on them it's kind of a tight road so we're going to stack this here some assembly required shed on that flatbed and uh, we're going to go up the mountain because Josh is going to take a load of fuel to fuel generators. Uh, did you have that flat tire today? Yeah. Oh, you, you are having a bad day, ain't you? So uh, it looks like Josh has had a little bit of tire trouble today. It's hot rotten tires doesn't mix so we're gonna get this thing loaded and uh first thing in the morning we're heading up when it's cool get this thing unloaded and they can get it put together and uh put their radio equipment in it so stay tuned trucking loads doing okay straps are snug we're starting to starting to lean back on our straps a little but uh, everything looks good
get steep now. The load's back on the straps pretty hard. Had one too before that slid out a little ways. What do you think of this place, McKay? It's pretty cool. It's pretty straight up, isn't it? Pretty cool country right here. So yeah, we'll set you guys up here and uh, we'll keep trucking. So we're getting our first view of Havasu. Let's see if we can. There's Lake Havasu City and the lake on top. Pretty cool, huh, McKay? Yeah, pretty cool scenery up here. Pretty, pretty epic little road. We're, uh, I don't know, we're over halfway up the mountain and we're over three quarter of the total journey, so we'll keep trucking. perspective here of how steep it is climbing up this crazy and there's the first site there's one little shed on it I'm not sure if that's the one yeah I think that's the one we're going to so it's uh, basically right here so we don't have to go to clear to the top today it's right here Somehow we've made it up on top of this mountain. You guys got to see this view. It's unbelievable. And uh, I wanted McKay to kind of experience this because it's, uh, it's kind of crazy.
Well, we've delivered the shed. You guys have got a little job to do now, huh? Yeah, yeah, we do. A little bit of assembly required. So this is the subfloor going together. And uh, so what size is it? Eight by 10. Cool. Well, the next time I come back, there'll be a shed here full of equipment and uh, we'll stop and check it out. But we're gonna head back down the hill. We got our shed delivered, McKay. It's all unloaded. Now all we gotta do is it's get- all, all downhill from here. Yeah, it's all downhill <laughs> from here. So I, now all we gotta do is literally get down this hill without running off the edge. I mean, clean that camera out there and show them what I'm talking about. It's a bit of a ways down. Ooh, there's one of them mines. Yeah, this is the one those tailings came out of. So, that's a pretty deep old hole right there. Goes back in there, ways all the way But, uh, I didn't see here is out this hole. With the tailings pile, can you imagine how deep that hole is? I'm yeah. sure it's pretty deep. Goes back in there a ways. Get it out of reverse, let the clutch out, break, break our windshield out with our foreheads. <laughs> here to film for a second down in the bottom of this wash right kind of in that area you'll see drone footage of an old dump truck that went over the side and it's a long ways down you think it was a scary ride McKay hope we got out before <laughs> it went from here to there yeah the cab is off the frame the motors out of it it is it is bad it's an old red looks like maybe a Ford or Dodge dump truck but the dump beds down there and yeah what a mess Well, we're back from the top of the mountain. Everything went really good. That was pretty cool. Did a nice deed for some good people. Back on the Porsche. I got the water jet back. Made it just in time before they closed. ACS, thank you very much. So these are the gussets that I had water jet cut that will basically go right in here. So this is the brace for the front axle. So we'll get these tacked in, squared up, and uh, get them welded in. And then uh, we've got these, which are the uh, trunk hinges, which the trunk is in the front of the car. So I'll get them tapped and in the hood, or trunk, I should say, trunk lid. And then we'll get the rest of the hinge mocked up and welded and glued into place. And then these were just some extra brackets I had cut because I thought I might want to put a brace in the back, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll visit that here in a little bit. So let's get these welded in.
What are you doing? You dang old hippie? Help, Merlin! What happened? Need a fan belt. So you know Ronnie from uh, the old folks here. He was, yeah, Ronnie. He, he started putting this yeah, on. He's, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. So. You're out doing service work in the in the off road bus. I'm doing service work in my service truck and it broke. Whoa! What the heck? What happened? Old fan belt. Ooh, it's been sitting too long, huh? No. Is that a Porsche hood latch lock thing or what? No. What is that? Oh, that's just a one click. It's gone. It's not broke, it's gone. In the bus. Yeah, that, that's awesome. <laughs> that's the worst thing about a Volkswagen, the belt. The belt. It's the only thing that'll leave you on the side of the road. Second time in 40 years. 40 years, second time in 40 years. Well, I just caught it on camera that yeah. Ronnie, <laughs> Old school VW Ronnie lost his his second belt in 40 years. Come look at my Porsche. How are you working on this thing? Shh, it's a diesel. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. Came out nice. Yeah, those were, that was absolutely just an awesome deal. I glued it in with that Plexus, mm -hmm. works really good. They're made in China now and uh, under the Conti name and the worst is I can get an off brand now. They're short. There's a buck up. Yeah, these are short. It's not cracked or nothing that weird. It just, oh, just separated out. Yeah, that one it, looks uh, close. It's not though, it's too short. So these must have been for power pulley. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is longer. Ooh, damn, that one's too short too. That's a big pulley on there. Sorry. Oh, there's there might be some of it. We got belt down in here. This got hot. Yeah. No, the pulley. Well, the whole engine got hot. Slipping the belt or something. I mean, that still turns. Yeah, this is <laughs> that's where your belt is, yeah. Ron. It's all down here. Maybe that's why we can't get a belt on it. Ah, it's still it's longer. So what year is this bus, Ron? 56. 56, and what do they call this? This is a transporter? Double door panel. Double door panel. Oh, because it's got, this is a pass-through. This has got two doors. Four doors. Two so on this four. side, two on the other side. Yeah, well, I call it two because this is one open. So it comes factory with this little bench seat. What, you think they sold flowers out of it in the day? This was a laundry bus. A laundry bus, so they, they did laundry. So yeah, here's Ronnie's belt. No, not laundry, this is the whiskey here. Oh look, Ronnie's got a bucket of candy. We'll take some of his candy. No, so, it's a whiskey delivery bus. Oh, look at that. Where's your door panel? Right there. Yeah, that's it, huh? Dude, is that steering wheel expensive or what? Uh, nope, semi truck. Is that what that is? Yeah. What a cool old bus. That rack's worth a couple dollars though, isn't it? Yeah. So that takes the same headlights as my Porsche. Yep. They're just turned. It's amazing how Volkswagen and Porsche just mixed and matched these parts and just made it work. Super cool.